have I got a treat for you today. So many of you want to know about curly hair and I have the best curly hair model and here he is. Now I know what some of you are thinking, where on earth did I find this mannequin? <laughs> Actually, I purchased it. So when I first got this mannequin head, it was just loaded with knots and all and tangles, and I said, how am I going to actually comb this out in order to get, as you can see here, these curls really, really nicely put together, and I said, well, I know exactly what I need to do. So the first thing with curly hair, right, and, and it doesn't matter if the hair is really long, if it's really, really short, I try to have the same approach if you want to embrace the curls. I know a lot of people have curly hair and they want it pinned straight, or people with pinned straight hair want super curly hair. It's always, you want what you don't have. But in this situation, what I did is I simply shampooed and conditioned the hair, and I, was, I had a strategy in mind, is to one, clean it, condition it, because especially the conditioner, because the conditioner is really what helps soften the hair and closes down the cuticle and it, it just allows you to really be able to comb through the hair much easier. So after I shampooed it and conditioned it, the next thing was I said, I need some sort of spray that is going to help me get through the 8 million knots that are in the hair and that is where my 25 spray comes in handy. This is my number two best selling product and as a professional, the reason it's called 25 is because there's 25 benefits in this spray. And the reason that you need something like this, and especially this one, as a hairstylist, combing out knots is probably like, an, it's an everyday challenge that we all go through. And if you have your hair like this, knots are just a nightmare. This product is amazing for knots. In many of the scenarios that I've been in over the years as a professional hairstylist, I have, you know, had girls come in that were maybe like, you know, 10 years old or nine years old and had very, very curly hair, just super thick hair. And it literally would just knot up right at the sink. I spray this in the hair and it helps get rid of a lot of those tangles. So this product alone is not only great for just the overall benefits, but getting through knots. So I sprayed this throughout the entire head, right? And then I said, I have two options because there's a ton of knots ready to go to be combed out. What brush do I use? So you have really two choices. You can use this. This is a wide tooth comb, a, very, a pretty large comb. And the thing that this will do, here's the, the benefits and negatives about this, is that it'll get through the hair fairly easily because it's such a wide, the teeth are so widely spread. And what you want to do when you're combing knots is you want to always start at the bottom. And sometimes you can actually hold the hair in the, at the mid shaft and lightly start to comb out and work your way up. If you work your way up from the top, you're just going to build those knots on top of each other. So you really don't want to comb from the top down, at least in my opinion, I like to go from the bottom up. And that's with anything, even if your hair is straight, because it allows you to kind of get through and freely comb what's on top. So you're getting rid of the knots here, and this is much easier to comb down. Eventually, there's no knots. So you can use something like this, which is a lot more gentle on the hair. It gets through the hair much easier, but you may be missing a handful of those knots that are buried in the hair. And that's what I did notice. And I said, I got to switch to the vent brush. This is my vent brush that I do sell on my website. The one thing about this is it's an anti-static vent brush and also the rubber handle. This is, this is plastic, but this rubber handle allows such an amazing grip on it that you have, you have the best control you could possibly have. And that's why I chose this brush to be a part of my lineup because I love it and I use it. So what you need to do with this, same exact technique, but this is going to really get in deep into the hair because as you're combing through it, you know, the teeth here obviously are much closer together. There's a lot more teeth, so you're gonna be getting more coverage. So a brush like this is really good. Yes, you're gonna see hair coming out in clumps, which is normal, don't freak out. A lot of people think, oh my God, my hair's falling out, I'm going bald, because I see like clumps and clumps of hair. It's just, that's how it is, especially when the hair's all knotted. You're gonna lose a lot of hair 
not like you're losing your hair technically, but you're losing a lot of those just hairs that are ready to come out, right? So you're still gonna keep all that beautiful hair you have, but something like this will just help get rid of all those deep knots that you have. Okay, so all the knots are out. What is the next thing, right? How do you wanna style your hair? And with this mannequin, and in my experience, I have realized that sometimes less is more. I did, however, apply product. And for curly hair like this, what you wanna really think about is control, like a light to medium hold, and no frizz. So what I chose is my crafted cream, right? This is a pre-styling cream, it's a blow dry cream, it's a leave-in cream. The smell on this is inspired by Tom Ford Black Orchid. It's literally the most luxurious scent, a really, really high-end product. I did a lot of pumps into my hands to make sure I can work it through the hair. Worked it through my hands and I started to work from the bottom all the way up and I made sure that after the hair, the product was applied to the hair, I used my fingers to kind of rake through everything. And then you go back in with the comb, something like this, and that's when you comb through it and all the product is there, it's on the hair, get it through and distribute it evenly from scalp to ends and you ready for the next part? Leave it, set it and forget it. You can use a diffuser, but if you use a diffuser, there's a chance that your hair may expand and get fairly, fairly large as far as the width of it and, and the volume. If you leave it and let it air dry on its own without doing anything to it, that is when you're going to get the result like this. And that is what I did on this mannequin, is I literally let it air dry and you could see there's no frizz whatsoever, beautiful natural curl pattern and uh, the hair looks fantastic. Uh, and you know, if you want your hair like this. So the more you mess with curly hair, the more risk you have of it just becoming very, very frizzy. You know, if you want to wear an undercut, if you want to wear your hair just like this, with or without the beard, you know, you have to treat curly hair the same exact way. You either embrace it and, tr and manage it properly or you straighten it, right? If you have very straight hair and you want your hair to be like this, you're gonna have to get a perm. If you have hair like this and you wanna get it super straight, you have to chemically straighten it. So you really have two options. I say just embrace it and enjoy your curly hair. What did you think of my model today? Pretty awesome, right? Thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you found this helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more videos with a salon guy.